pay it forward is you know it's 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 not my thing it's not it's not my baby it's it's been around for thousands of years it's been around for people in the BC, in BC talk about it Christopher Columbus talked about it a lot of coaches talk about it and that's what got me hooked that's what got me just absolutely attached to this idea this ideal this philosophy this this simple little thing that can make such a big impact the biggest thing that really drove me um, I don't say crazy anymore but drove me curious was how something so profound and so powerful like that didn't turn into a massive movement. This one I think has a, a bigger meaning because it's not really for any reason other than to just spread kindness and it's just out of the kindness of their hearts. Like they don't want anything else from it but that. I just want to be able to have an impact on kids when they're young so they can carry it through their whole lives with them. I think to me Pay It Forward is really just making little differences within the world. It's something like I've heard things such as like going through a drive through and paying for the person behind you. So when they drive through the drive through they get up to the window and the person says oh, this is how much it is and they hand them the money and they go oh no the person behind, the person in front of you paid and obviously the hope is that they will pay for the person behind them but even if not it puts them in a good mood for the rest of the day. I think just for me really it's been looking within myself as joining Pay It Forward and realizing what it what it means to me and what Pay It Forward can do for my life as well as everyone else. Imagine for a moment that you have the ability to be able to reach out there and touch and affect other people's lives. As I said before, we're all connected. So in, in a lot deeper ways than one might actually think or even begin to comprehend. I don't even think most people can comprehend the way that we're all connected. Paying it forward that's what is so important. You need to be able to go out there and freely give, not to expect something back in return. To be able to go out there and be authentic, to be able to go out there and share your message of who you are and what you do. To be able to do that and um, to be able in that, in that freedom of being able to give to someone, to pay that that, that, that lesson, that message, that focus, that gift, whatever that is to you, to be able to go and give that to someone. Pay it forward to me means to be of service to other people. And there's a difference between service and servitude. I think people get confused by those two things. But being of service really means giving from your heart, from a place of joy and gratitude simply for the ability to give and knowing that you're making a difference in the life of another person. Paid forward to me means what can I do for another person or community that will make some type of change, but something that's positive, somebody that something that will impact them in such a way that it opens up their life, it transforms them in such way, in, in some way, and then they in turn from that experience, that blossoming of who they are or the, the changes that happen in either their family or their community, they then do the same thing. So it's almost like if you think of a pebble, if you drop it into the water, it ripples out. First of it's one ripple, two, and then it ripples all the way across the, the side of the ocean. And that to me is what paying forward is. We as a species have gotten to a point where we realize that we have this responsibility to our children. We have something that's really beautiful to share. We have a history, we have a learning, we have a knowledge base to share, and that there's something coming through that, that is really pure and beautiful. And if we can teach that foundation, if we can just share what we know, then we are open, and we are open, equally open to learning what there is then to be taught from our next generation. Together we can work together and create something really beautiful. What I've done to explain the pay it forward mentality to my son, well, he's five years old now, so I, I've just been making him shadow me and follow me around. He's been doing that now for a few years, so he's seen what I do. He comes with me when I go up to strangers and, and you know, offer to do something kind for them. And puts a big smile on his face and he, he imitates it and at home he'll pretend like he's the stranger and, and he wants to be involved and so I let him come with me and he gets to interact with them also. If every kid grew up with that kind of mindset of, of, um, of just thinking kindly and um, embracing each other with that same kind of, of reverence, 
um, you know, we could be living in a, in a really cool place. We could be living in a place where frequency is high, and you know, the mere thought of something could, you know, immediately manifest it. You know, when when you have that kind of love and and tenderness and kindness, everybody's frequency jumps, and you don't have to have everybody's frequency on that level. You just need a certain percentage, and it, if we grew up just expecting that and extending that to each other, um, the whole wave of consciousness could shift. A random act of kindness, I believe that's pay it forward, even if it's just a smile or a hug or buying someone's coffee or seeing a dog running on the street and grabbing it and finding his tag. I mean, any, anything that you would wish somebody would do for you. Pay it forward is, is a much bigger scope. It's not just about helping the less unfortunate than us. It's about literally helping every being on this planet in a small way every single day, whatever that is to you.